Good morning, hello, welcome, Mahaban. This is finals day, the 2021 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals at the beautiful Bahrain International Kart Circuit. My name's Henry Baudet, with me as always, Jen Wade. Jen, two years since we were last here, not here, in Sano. The road has been long, there's been ups and downs, but we are here and today is the day. Today's the day, it's finals day, we're excited. I know there's a lot of nerves in the paddock, we've been out there in the driver's tent talking to some of the drivers and the mechanics, they're double checking everything. They've had the warm up, beautiful day, bit of a breeze, so now we're going to see who's going to be our new champion, but I think before that we're going to have some fantastic racing. Really? Yes, indeed. The pre-finals yesterday under the beautiful Arabian night sky. The sun shines. Who's it going to shine brightest on? Seven races, seven champions, potential history in the making. Our first race is going to be a bit of history. The first ever E20 Grand Finals winner. Fantastic, fantastic racing all day yesterday. Yes. All day yesterday. You're going to be speaking to the winners, so we're going to get a real emotion yes. from our drivers. Yes. Not everyone from 61 countries has made it, but we've got yeah. some real surprise packages. I think there's a couple of classes that could really shock us today. We might even find that we've got our first woman standing up on the podium here at the Grand Finals as well. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> you can watch everything all day here live on the Rotax Karting live stream. Please, please stay with us. Thank you for joining us so far. I think we've saved the best till last. We have. We've saved the best till last. Follow us also on Facebook. Send your messages. Support your team. And look forward to the racing. I'm nervous. Let's go racing. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it's, it, the, the juices yeah. are flowing. Okay, here is your full starting lineup. Pole position, driver 463, Martin van Leeuwen from Russendal, second of the gold trophy. He is from the Netherlands. Antoine Barbarou in car 435 from France. It's his first grand finals, the 18 year old from Port Ribelay. Then Michael Racine, his second grand finals in car number 431, his best tenth as a junior back in 2016. Then Kyle Kumaran from India. Driving number 4 zero when he was 18th in this race last time out at Sarno. Gianluca Savaglio from Canada, driving number 4-1-2. Debutant in the Grand Finals, Canadian champion this year from Toronto. Patrick Loxmelis from Latvia in cart number 4-4-6 is next. He is 15 years old, Nordic champion, Latvian champion from Lielvade. Then it's Abdullah Al-Rawahi from Oman. Abdullah in cart 429 has hasn't qualified for the Grand Finals since 2017. In his four previous appearances, he has finished in the top 21 three times. Emils Atmans from Latvia in cut number 438. It's his first Grand Finals. He's from Branas, 15 years old. Plays ice hockey as well. Then it's Jakob Bazel, the younger of the two Bazel brothers, starting on the inside of row number five. Driver 408 was fifth. One year, uh, last time out at eighth in Brazil in 2018. Dimitris Vasileris from Greece in cart number 437. Dimitris finished 35th in this race last time out. Axel Sanyala, cart 468, the 2019 senior Rotax Grand Final Champion. He follows, uh, starts alongside number 420, Zen Rua, Zen from Slovenia. Third in 2019, fourth in 2017. Philip Watsi from Austria and Glenn Van Parish uh, from Belgium are up next. Van Parish in cart 409 was tenth in senior road tax in 2016. Watsi from Austria is his first grand finals. Then it's Mika Metz from Germany. Mika Metz, 20 years old from Seen. And Matthias Najem from Lebanon in cart 406. This is Matthias 6 grand final. They, David Masliakevic in cart number 455 is next on the grid. His nickname is Johnny Bravo. Vicendi Marquez Carpent uh, in, in cart 456 is on the outside of row number nine. This Spanish driver lives in Madrid, 20 years old. Nicola Pico, runner up in Sano in 2019. In cut 417 for France. Nicola, very experienced, 10th in 2018. He's now 30 years old, the NSK champion. Leonardo Reese from Brazil rounds out your top 20. The rest of the starting lineup Gustavo Suarez from Chile, Ethan 
Jonathan Ho from the United States. Charlie Anderson from Sweden, Ragnar Veros from Estonia, Eliska Babichkova from the Czech Republic, Max Linden from Sweden, Matthias Dahl from Denmark, Max Jäger from Chile, special mention from Max Jäger, his third grand finals, his first qualification into the final, he's never finished higher than 69th in this race before. Then it is Khalid Ray Saab, Luke Skeppers, Petter Bazel, the defending champion, 21 laps to somehow pull off a miracle and save his crown. Then it's Federico Panetta from Argentina, Ivan Skamska from Belarus, Gonzalo Coutinho from Portugal, Benz Major from Hungary, Rasmus Vengelbo from Denmark. And breathe. And now we focus, Filippo. The drivers will have a plan, will they not? I, I'm so excited for uh, this race start because the question is, can anyone stop the race pace oh, of Van Mr. Van Leeuwen? Yep. Let's see. Well, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen soon. You know, we've seen it all day with a dusty track, with wind causing sand to come onto the circuit. The, the, the driver, oh, Savaglio, what has happened to Gianluca Savaglio? On our screens, hang on a second, he's our camera cart, he's behind Racina, so, okay, Maybe uh, that on my timing working. screen it says he has not gone out, but he is very much there because we're riding with him. Maybe a transponder issue. I hope he's remembered to put <laughs> it on. It's one thing to have your transponder on your cart that is broken or faulty or run out of battery, that's one thing. To not have your transponder fitted that is a different situation altogether. The sun is now low in the sky. One more time around here in Bahrain. Van Leeuwen in cart 463. Barbaru. You can, if it doesn't happen the first couple of laps, then it's going to be very, very difficult. For if it first does two happen, laps are crucial. First yes. two laps are crucial in this race. I if think. the battling does begin early, then watch for the likes of Jakob Bazel, Axel Sanyala, Glenn Van Parish, Matthias de Gem, Nicola Pico coming up through the orders and the room as well. Lights are red. Final race of Grand Finals 2021 is go! And Barbaro gets a great start. Van Leeuwen caught napping at the start. While Barbaro, I hope he hasn't jumped the start there. That was very, very quick indeed. They're all safely through. Turn number one and two. Oh, oh. Arasina over the grass, but he saves it. Another driver on the sand, but the leader is number four. Zero one, is that Kyle Kumaran? Wow! <laughs> Yeah, incredible start, uh, so we will have fun in this race. Kumara now is on the lead and uh, will try to open the gap because the drivers behind him are battling a lot for the second place. Yes, uh, India have never ever been on the podium in the Grand Finals. Now, further back, there are some drivers that have had a problem and spins. Oh, but Kyle Kumaran has got a great gap. They're battling. What happened to Van Leeuwen? Oh, my oh. word, that looked like maybe Sanyala uh, or, or Zenderua being very, very aggressive there. And uh, there's Van Paris recovering. This could be special. End of lap number one. Kumaran, Barbaru, Van Leeuwen down to third. Then it is Ahmed, not Melis, Latvia third and fourth. Derua up to fifth from 12th to sixth, uh, to sixth rather. You've got Van Paris, Racina. Now, Coutinho, Khaled Reisab and Dahl are not there. Gianluca Savaglio is behind. Ah, so Van Paris is seventh, but Savaglio is not coming up on our timing screens. Now, if that's a problem with the transponder, that's one thing. But we have to see. We have to wait and see. Kumaran has to push a lot at the moment because uh, he has got the two sharks behind him. <laughs> yes. Baruch and Valuen. And uh, he knows very well that uh, he has a big, big chance now to open the gap and uh, try to pull away from the group and oh, at yeah. least be get, get yeah, I mean, in fight of the two top drivers. So he has a big, big chance for him and for India to be oh, still on the yes. podium in this race. Oh, Von Paris making a move in front of us. So we're on board with Savaglio. And Savaglio is, this is going to be a bit tricky, Savaglio in cart number four, five, six. He is behind uh, Vincenzi Carpins. And there's a move on Zenderua. Van Pori should have the rule battling again. So Kamaran, get your head down. In fourth position is Lot Melis. Then it's Van Parish in fifth. All three wide. And that looks like Matthias Nagem. Oh, uh, Rosine is out. Rosine is out. 
Oh, is that is that Najem or Azina? The uh, race of colours, the race of colours, the same. Oh, Michael it is Azina. Azina. Oh, so sorry, uh, Filippo. And that is cart number four two nine, Abdullah Al Rawaki from Oman. It's uh, a very very fast corner. Yes. And uh, you you have to be very very precise to make the overtake yes. there. Don't uh, make contact with the driver. Uh, that you overtake, it's uh, it's a really risky maneuver. But like uh, we just saw that done it, it perfectly. Works. Yeah, by Van Leeuwen. perfectly. And when it goes wrong, that was like it was with Van Paris and then the Rua. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday in the pre final, what what can happen at that uh, in that part and of the track? And it's a matter of inches. Now the question is, I mean, the advantage that Van Leeuwen has got is because he had to because uh, Barbara had to back out. Van Leeuwen has got a gap between himself and and the two drivers behind him so if van lewen can make a move on kumaran there's no threat at all of somebody passing van lewen or getting the crossover yeah. move uh, dr dropping him back like we saw barbara get dropped back yeah down the hill Ooh, side by side wheel to wheel that is Pico, Najem, Carpent, uh, Leonardo Reese is there in 12th, Sanyala is 13th. I think Barbaruk uh, retakes uh, the third place. Change of lead! Yeah. Van Leeuwen has the race lead uh, going into turn number one. So, Carl Kumaran, his position at the head of the field is over for now. This is now critical. Kumaran has to just follow yeah. or try and fight back straight away. You think fight back straight away? Yeah, uh, of course, uh, they all, all them know that uh, Valiwen is the fastest man on the track, uh, so I think uh, Kumara will try to, to stay behind him and try to pull away, but uh, I think Barbarox is not uh, in the same idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he's, uh, he's not thinking <laughs> the same way. Barbaro wants to try and get into second place straight away. Already, Martin Van Leeuwen. Now he takes the second place. Now he takes the second place. A very good maneuver for him because uh, he knows that he has more or less the same speed of uh, Valiwen. So he will try now to push at 100% to follow him and try to to stay in the battle for uh, winning uh, the, the title. So that's that Barbaro is confident enough to say, I can take on Van Leeuwen one on one. I don't yeah. need help by a big battle. Yeah. That's confident from Barbaro. And Kumaran, Kyle Kumaran, well, Patrick Lockmelis, let's have a look, driver number 446. Lockmelis, well, he was a mini max driver in the 2018 Grand Finals, finished 15th then, so he would have been a junior in 2019. Yeah, Lockmelis is the surprise of the race, I think, because. Uh, um, I did not. Uh, I did not put uh, him yeah, in the. Yeah, and Kumaran as well. Yeah, surprise for Kumaran. I mean, Carl yeah. Kumaran. Okay, 18th last year, but to be this quick, but to be able to race with these drivers in a in a heated situation, you know, because he hasn't. He, okay, he's, he passed for the lead and he's dropped the third, but he's still right there. Race pace of Van Leeuwen is not uh, enormously faster than uh, the, the pace of the others. 52.9, 52.9, 52.9, 9 for all the four drivers in front. So, 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 so why, why the pace drop? Because of the temperature? Or that we raced uh, at I 90 think, uh, No, I think the, the problem uh, um, can be the wind. Because uh, the, the wind is really strong. And uh, watching the telemetry this morning after the warm-ups, the the top speed is really really lower than the previous yes. days and uh, the, it, it means that the race pace of the driver who drives in front alone is higher and yes. uh, if barbarox uh, st is, he stays behind and uh, don't try to to make the overtake the race pace of course is the one the race pace of unleuen yes and the driving alone the race pace is not uh, enormously fa fast no. okay okay yes. don't know who's quicker pace outright because Van Leeuwen has he, he's obviously been saving something for this stage but he's not pulling away from Barbaroo they're both though pulling away from Kumara and Lotmelis yeah. India and Latvia will dispute third place the uh, Netherlands and France purple, purple the second sector for Barbaroo oh, green second sector for Van Leeuwen they are they are doing the, they are 100% now they are yep. pushing Pushing, pushing. Pushing, pushing, pushing. You can see the gap in the space of a lap and a half has grown from about four cart lengths to over a second now. Kumaran still seems a lot menace to push. Three, three laps to go, Harry. It's, time, it's time to try something to, to make the overtake. Uh, Van Leeuwen did uh, his personal best lap, lap uh, 52.6. Uh, yep. oh, it's yep. not, will be not easy, but uh, I think Babaru has more or less the same race pace, and yep. uh, surely he will try a well, maneuver. 
McTyre. So Van Leeuwen's car, personal best lap on lap 18 for Van Leeuwen. Uh, Antoine Barbaro, not personal best lap. And you can see Van, Martin Van Leeuwen checking over his shoulder, over his shoulders. That means we're now thinking about defending. Kumara and Lot Mellis are oh, over really second close. He has already closed now. He will try. Oh, Van Leeuwen gets defensive and uh, no chance here for Barbarux to, to make the overtake. So, on to lap number 21. Two laps remain here in Bahrain. Van Leeuwen starts to weave and defend. Are we going to see Kumar and Lot Mellis close in? The rest of the field coming over, over the crest of turn three. Now we look to four Van Leeuwen defends, crossover. No. no, 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 no. He, I think uh, his best chance is uh, at the crux crew of uh, or a last chicane, or when Valuen goes defensive at the last chicane. Uh, the cross Barbarus, or cross or cross over Maruva or try to stay in the slipstream at the end of the of the straight. Yes. Oh, oh yes. For turn number one. Yeah. For turn well, number one. We are going to start the last lap next time round. Will Barbaru go here at 12? There's an opportunity. No, but Leywood defends. Now we talk about the crossover. Yeah. So Barbaru will be That's fast it. at the end of the straight. Yeah, will he do it? He is really close. He can stay close, close to the slipstream and try to make the maneuver turn one. Last lap, Harry. Last lap. But Leywood defends through the roller coaster now. Netherlands versus France. Can Van Leeuwen hang on or will France take another wee win on the top of the day? Barbaro, no, at the turn five. Now he will try to make another another passing spot is here. Turn number eight, but Van Leeuwen will go surely defensive. Yes, he does. Oh, cross, he gets crossed up at the braking. Though you can see the back end of the cart sliding. At the course, you know, two opportunities needs to go. Yeah, two opportunities to go. Let's see the cock crock screw, but Van Leeuwen stays, stays close, close to the curb. Now let's see last chicane, last opportunity for the win. And here K comes, turn 12, Van Leeuwen to the inside. Barbaro, here comes Karl Kumara from India in third. Who's going to get the run of the final corner? Martin Van Leeuwen by a length of a cart from Barbaro second. And India are on the podium for the first time in grand finals history. What a race for Karl Kumara, not Malice in fourth. Oh, well, they did save the best for last, Filippo. Three tenths of a second. No, um, the um, top two fast drive finished first and second. Uh, now, watching the result. Uh, now that the racing is over, yeah. I know there has been an awful lot of like tension and stress to get here. The welcome, the, v the venue, it's all been worth it. Thank you, Bahrain, so much. This venue, the circuit has provided wonderful sight, yeah. sounds and racing. Yeah, of course, uh, it has been a great surprise, this, uh, this track, wonderful facilities, uh, wonderful place, uh, really good uh, racing action. Uh, so we have, uh, of course, to say thank you, Bahrain, for uh, everything. Uh, because uh, we, we had a, a great uh, Rotax Grand Final also this year, and uh, yeah. Yeah, let's look at that. The top eight, Netherlands, France, India, welcome to the Grand Finals podium, yeah. India. Then you've got Latvia, Canada, Belgium, Lebanon, Czech Republic. This is Grand Final. This is Grand Final. Further down the order, you've got Austria, Finland, Spain, Slovenia, Estonia, Germany, Brazil, um, the United States, Greece, uh, yeah, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, South America represented, Chile, Belarus, every continent, every champion on equal equipment, and the results speak for themselves. We'll have to do it all again next year, because there is going to be a next year, not two years, one year. We'll find out later on where it is as well. As we look at things, thank you so much for joining me up here in the box, Filippo. Yeah. Um, thank you. It's been a pleasure uh, commentating with you. You know, the Italian team, hope everyone is well, because I know you've had to have two drivers withdraw. But uh, final words from Jen Wade, and then we'll be heading up to the podium. Jen, take it away. And now, for the very first time in Grand Finals history, it gives me great pleasure to welcome on the podium, representing India, Karl Kumaran!
but your winner today in what was a fantastically exciting final representing the Netherlands the Flying Dutchman Martin van Leeuwen and now presenting Patrick Lockmelis with his medal Peter Olsinger, the general manager of BRP Rotox thank you Peter so gives Patrick his medal and now the wonderful glass award from Bahrain Congratulations, now it is turn for Kyle Kumaran's turn. India finally get on the board in the grand finals. Always wonderful to have a brand new nation receiving a podium in the grand finals as the Rotax reach grows even further. 61 nations this year, even with all the current situation. Peter Elzinger presents Kyle with his award. And now to the winner. It took a late charge. He just held on. Van Leeuwen was fast all week. He gets his medal. He gets his wonderful trophy. I think we won't do the all on the top step of the podium because it's a bit too much. Oh, hello. And now then the presents for the drivers. <laughs> So, the Iridium visor, the sunglasses. Who does the race suit? Who does the race winner? It's MIR, is it? And for our race winner sunglasses, the customized race suit from MIR Racewear. Congratulations. And now, would you also like to wait? Welcome on to the stage. The winning mechanic, Luke Briers. Beard of the week. On the side. Other side, other side. Luke, other side. Oh, you got it. Ignore me. It's all right. Don't worry. And now we ask the drivers to remove their hats for the playing of the national anthem of the Netherlands. There you go, congratulations Martin Van Leeuwen. And now, if we ask the winning mechanic, would you mind stepping aside? Would you mind just step, stepping aside? We'll just have the drivers. One final driver's photo for the photographers on the top of the gantry. Now, do we want to try and all stand on the top step? Go on, have a go. Try it, it's not that high. All on the top step. Have a cutch, cutch in. There we go. Go on, have a cuddle. Hey, lovely. One, two, three. Your TD2 2021 podium, everybody. Someone murdered that DJ. Thank you very much. We are going back to Portimao in Portugal.